everyone uh, can anyone uh, please confirm um, are able to hear my voice are able to see my screen yes sir, yes, sir. very good yes. <clears throat> so in the yesterday we discussed some overview of uh, i mean yesterday means in the last class and now we want to configure enterprise structure we want to configure enterprise structure example everyone example i will tell you one thing everyone i will tell you one thing so far we already discussed uh, now we want to configure company company and company code we want to configure company and company code everyone concentrate here everyone so what is mean by company company nothing but group of company company nothing but group of company group of company example everyone example reliance group of company and uh, you know tata group of company and uh, you know uh, which one ramkis group of company tesla group of companies okay for example company code company code nothing but individual companies company code nothing but individual companies individual companies so what is meant by individual companies example everyone uh, example group of company means example example i am telling uh, tata group of company example tata group of company under the tata group of company we have individual companies example uh, uh, tata steels example tata steels private limited and uh, one more uh, tata insurance tata insurance limited tata insurance limited example tata insurance limited and uh, tata motors tata motors private limited so what is meant by this this is called group of company what is meant by this this is called individual companies for the legal entities this is called legal entities for example everyone can you can you put the heading of company now we need to create the company put the heading of company and note it down put the heading of company and note it down put the heading of company and note it down one point everyone heading is company note it down <coughs> company nothing but group of company company nothing but group of companies group of companies note it down clearly everyone company consists of one or more company codes company company means group of company okay now company next line note it down next point like that company consists of one or more company codes 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 company is a <coughs> company is the legal organization company is the one of the uh, legal aspect or legal uh, unit like that legal organizational unit like that company is the legal organizational unit
everyone everyone now now my target is now my target is i want to create i want to create pm group of company pm group of company so can anyone read the note can anyone please read the note what you noted anyone please remaining people please check it out what is mean by company just note i give small note who can read company nothing but um, group okay. of companies company consists one or yes, more companies come, again. come again with loud voice come again please company nothing but group of companies company consists one or more company goods company is the legal organization unit legal organizational unit everyone now my target is uh just a moment uh, my this is arvin here uh, my doubt is go on mute arvin go on mute okay fine go on mute go on mute. i can give you time that time you can ask in case okay. of any doubts please note it down as it i will give okay. you time okay that okay. time please ask okay 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 <clears throat> yeah everyone concentrate here concentrate here, everyone now my target is now my target is my now my target is i want to create i want to create i want to create pm group of company pm group of company where it is located example it is located in madapur hyderabad it is located in madapur hyderabad okay madapur hyderabad it is located so this is i want to create in the sap how to create this is i want to create in the sap how to create that and one more question actually sir you gave very small note for our understanding but i want to understand more what is mean by company like i need to explore more information before going to create so how to create then how to explore more information here we will do that everyone concentrate here concentrate here everyone concentrate here so this is called sap easy access screen this is called sap easy access screen now my target is i want to create the company i want to create the company so how to create the company very simple everyone concentrate here everyone so now go to spro enter sap reference img and here enterprise structure then here definition then here financial accounting then here define company so this is the path everyone this is the path enterprise structure definition financial accounting new define company so how to see the t code everyone last time we discussed how to see the t code anyone please respond go, go to, to additional information additional information, oh, additional information. information. Additional information. and uh, additional information display key display. and uh, IMG, img very good everyone everyone now concentrate here last four digit is the t code last four digit is the t code ox15 and this is the path and enterprise structure definition financial accounting new define company this is the path and this is the t code okay either you can come through path either you can go to through t code also everyone concentrate here everyone in case if you want to create the company you simply double click on this execute button create the company this execute button this button no sir first i want to understand more information what is meant by company why company what is the purpose of company i need to understand more so everyone there is an one document here document here 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 if you double click on this document if you double click on this document sap suggest or sap provide some information define the company so whenever you have the time just go through this whenever you have the time just go through this 
Yeah. Can you note it down this uh, this point, everyone? Can you note it down this point? A company is organizational unit. Please note it down this point, everyone. Please note it down this point. A company is an organizational unit in accounting. which represents which represents a business organization business organization according to the requirements of commercial law in particular country you can add this point everyone for more understanding for more understanding. Done, noted my dear students, noted? Yes sir. Yeah. So everyone, so come to this part, come to this part. In case if you want to understand more information, just go through this document. No, sir. Yes, we fine. We understood now. Now we want to create the company. So how to create the company? And uh, what is the process of create the company? Very simple, everyone. Either you come to this path, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting new. You just double click on this execute button. Click on your new entry. Here you want to create the company. Sir, no, sir, I don't want to come the path. So I want to come through T code. So what is the T code? OX15. But this is the T code. Then you can go to your home screen. Home screen means SAP Easy Access screen. So this is called SAP Easy Access screen. Some people, some exports will call this is the SAP home screen. This is the SAP home screen. Some people call like that. Basically, this is named as a SAP Easy Access screen. So, what is the T code, my dear students? OX15. OX15. Then press enter, enter, press enter, then click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. Here you want to create. Okay, like this. Again, I'm back. I'm so this is SAP Easy Access. So how we can go, SPRO, enter, SAP reference. Guys, whenever I'm explaining, don't write anything, don't do anything, just listen, that's it. Just listen, don't do any other activities. Whatever note I'm giving now, you can note it down, then just listen. Whenever I'm giving the time, that time you can unmute and speak, okay? You can ask your doubts. Don't disturb to others, please, okay? Uh, enterprise structure, please focus definition and financial accounting now define the company okay so you just double click on this execute button then click on your new entry here you want to set up example company name company name means pm group of company pm group of company and company everyone here 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 you can set up up to six digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets sir why i want to set up up to five digit here example here i am set up pm goc up to six digit means here i set up pm goc is this standard no it is not a standard here you can set up up to six digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets why I want to set up means it is the identification of this identification of your group of company. Here you can set up any identification, but don't duplicate. Somebody already maintained 
you also maintain same no no don't duplicate you can maintain up to six digit it may be numerical or it may be alphabets any any okay for the identification of your group of company so where your group of company located it is located in madhapur madhapur so what is the post box number example 5300 5300 uh, 38 post box number even postal code also same then city city hyderabad city hyderabad country india country india then language english en otherwise click on your browse so all the languages will come all the languages will come so which language you want how many languages available in the sap 41 now 41 languages available like example arabic and uh, all the language english spanish i mean all the french and italian japanese all the languages available but hindi is not available actually hindi is not available uh, even our local language is also not available so 41 languages available other than hindi and local languages okay so i am example i am selecting english and here here currency currency means example it is located in which country everyone which country india so indian means which currency i want to maintain inr INR. Note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. <clears throat> note it on one note. During the company creation, during the company creation, during the company creation, whatever currency we maintain whatever currency we maintain that currency is that currency is that currency is global currency of specific company global currency of specific company so interviewer will ask the question where we will maintain the global currency means during the company creation whatever currency you specify that currency is called global company of sorry global currency global currency of specific company okay so guys everyone concentrate here we have uh, we have lot of currencies will come example global currency local currency document currency indexed based currency different different type of currencies will come for more discussions i will tell you later not required now what is mean by local currency? What is mean by group currency? What is mean by global currency? So we have separate topic, currency settings, foreign currency valuation. There is a separate topic. That time we will discuss more. But now this point is enough. Can anyone read the note? Remaining people, please check it out. During the company creation, whatever currency we maintain, that currency is global currency of specific that, company. Uh, that currency is called global currency of specific company. Not for all companies, no. That is specific company. Everyone, example, in the SAP, how many currencies are available? Example, if you click on your browse here, if you click on here, if you click on this button or browse button, So now, how many currencies available? 
180 currencies available. 200 currencies available. So all the currencies available here. Okay. So you can take whatever you want. Example, fizzy dollar, fizzy dollar, British pound, then uh, Finnish mark, Euro, Euros, then Spanish currency, something. Okay. And uh, Italian lira and uh, whatever, all the currencies available. Available. So what during the company creation, during the company creation, whatever currency you set up here, that currency is called, I mean, global currency of specific company. So where is that? Uh, INR, where is that INR? Use page down button, page down button in the keyboard, page up button in the keyboard, page up and page down. INR, our great INR, where it is? Mm, yeah, here, yeah. Indian rupees, Indian rupees, American dollars, even Israeli something, Israel currency. Let's take the INR, Indian rupee. So guys, I'm repeating once again, I'm repeating once again. Then uh, set up here uh, up to six digit, I set up here five digit it may be numerical or it may be alpha it's alpha numerical for the identification of your company then here you can maintain the address here you can maintain the address then country then language then currency so this currency is called global currency then click on here say here here guys did you remember last class we created one tr yes or no everyone Yes or no? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. So if you click on your save, so if you click on your save, now it is asking where I, which TR I want to save. So is this your TR? JM group of company? JM implementation? No. No, sir. PM group of company. Very good. So how to select my TR? How to select my TR? So here everyone, click on your own request. Click on your own request. So all the TRs will come. Now my TR is this one, PM group of implementation project. PM group of implementation project. Then click on here, okay. Okay, sir. Here, if you want to select your TR, they will, even here also, in case if you want to create new TR, simply here click on your new entry, everyone. Here, if you click on your new request, then write the description and save. New TR will going to create. Instead of going SC09, SC10, from here also you can create new TR. Okay. So not required now. We already created. So click on your own request and select your specific uh, TR. PM group of company implementation project. Then click on your save. Click on your save. Okay. Go and save. This is the one. Uh, note it down. Put the heading of company code, everyone. In case any doubts, please note it down aside. I will give you time. That time you can ask. Put the heading of company code. And note it down. Note it down. Hey, Krishna. Sorry, everyone. Some construction is going here. You don't mind. Okay. Any sound will come. Don't mind. One second. Okay, Habis now, it's good now. Yeah. Everyone, now put the heading of company code, company code everyone. Next point is called company code. And note it down. 
note it down company code nothing but company code nothing but company code nothing but individual company company code nothing but individual company example example you can note it down this everyone example tata steels private limited example tata steels private limited tata insurance limited tata motors private limited tata motors private limited dot 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 etc dot dot etc dot dot etc next line note it down next line note it down company code is the company code is the company code is the smallest organizational unit company code is the smallest organizational unit smallest organizational unit smallest organizational unit next line note it down in the every year in the every year per company code level every year per the company code level for the company code level we will generate financial statements we will generate financial statements for external reporting reporting to the government means my intention is everyone my intention is what is my intention is here every year we will generate the financial statements like profit and loss account and balance sheet at each company code level then auditor will going to verify and they will sign it that document we need to submit to the government that is my intention here okay next line note it down next line note it down all the accounting entries all the accounting entries we will post at company code level at company code level at the company code level everyone you then careful this is small note for your understanding everyone concentrate here company code company code uh, nothing but individual company company code nothing but individual company like example uh, tata steels private limited tata insurance limited tata motors private limited tata software software company is also there that is called individual company so what what is this individual company individual company is the smallest smallest uh, legal organizational unit legal organizational unit so this level we are going to generate the financial statements the end of the year 
we will going to generate the financial statements like profit and loss account and balance sheet for the external reporting means that thing we need to submit to the government and all type of accounting entries later i will show you not now later i will show you during the accounting entry posting how we will post the accounting entries at company code level i will show you but now you can keep it on your mind all the accounting entries we will post at company code level actually but during the accounting entry posting we will select different different parameters like company business area profit center cost center different different with selected but end of the day means but accounting entries we will post at company code level section okay company code level you this point you can keep it on your mind during the accounting entry posting i will explain how we will post the accounting entries how it will be reflected at company code level okay i will explain it <coughs> guys uh, anyone please read the note remaining people please check it out what anyone please company code is the smallest legal argument your voice is not audible when it everyone company code here when it voice is the smallest company code is the smallest legal organization unit read once again come from starting company code is the smallest legal organization unit no come from the starting company code ka swarna joins you can go and mute venkat ji swarna you can read mom okay sir company code nothing but individual company for example tata steel private limited tata motors private limited tata insurance limited um, company code is the smallest organization unit in in the next line in the every year for company code level we will generate generate Uh, financial statement for external external reporting external, uh, yes, reporting, external reporting all the accounting entries we will post the company code level company code everyone what is my intention is what is my intention is company code level we will generate the financial statement for external reporting external reporting means this reports we want to submit to the government end of the year but even every day day to day accounting entry postings monthly accounting entry posting yearly uh, any updation auditor adjustment accounting entries so we will post at company code level we will post the document accounting entries at company code level we will generate the financial statement at company code level that statement we will submit to the government that is my intention okay so everyone now my my question is example i created my own na i have uh, my pm group of company i have pm group of company under this pm group of company we have two individual companies we have two individual companies one is uh, pm steels private limited private limited and uh, one more is called uh, pm a uh, cement limited cement limited i have two uh, individual companies okay two individual companies and uh, this is located pm steels private limited located in uh, it is located in example uh, vijayar it's a visakhapatnam okay and uh, this is located in uh, example uh, tirupati okay so how to create this how to create this how to create in sap how to create the company code in sap guys in the real time if you joined in any company don't call individual company don't call group of company you people want to speak in the sap terminology you people want to call company code you people want to call company like that you need to discuss so now my target is now my target is how to create this how to create this okay so everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here now what is the path same path everyone go to sprgo and sap reference img 
SAP reference IMG, then uh, enterprise structure, then uh, definition, then financial accounting new, then here, here everyone. Edit, copy, delete, check company code. Now, can you please uh, respond again? So, how to see the T code? Go to anyone? Additional information. Additional information. Additional information. Display case. Display case. So, this is the path, everyone. So, this is the path. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting new, and edit, copy, delete, check company code. The last four digit is the T code, OX02. OX02 is the T code. And uh, in case if you want to uh, create the company, either you can come through path or either you can come through T code. So here you can you just double click on this execute button and click on here edit company code. Edit company code and click on here new entry. Here you want to create. And click go back, everyone. Go back one step back. So this is the path and this is the T code. Sir, I don't want to go path, sir. I want to go through T code. So now I'm in SAP Easy Access screen. Come back to your home screen. Here you can enter the T code. What is the T code? OX02. Press enter. Then click on your new entry. Yeah, here you want to create. Okay, this is the one. So here you can go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, select your uh, enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting, here. Edit, copy, edit, copy, delete, check company code. Sir, now you people want to ask one question. Sir, you gave very small notes, sir. I did not, uh, I want to explore more. I want to understand more. So everyone here, SAP will provide one document here. SAP will provide one document here for more understanding, uh, for the interview purpose. Even, of course, later I will give you interview question and answers. That is the different thing. So in case if you want to understand here for more understanding, what is meant by company code? Why company code? What is the purpose of company code? In case if you want to understand more, just go through this document. Here, this is the document it will. This is the document. Guys, can you please note it down this point, everyone? Better for more understanding. Note it down this point. The company code is an organizational unit used in the accounting. It is used to structure the business organization from the financial accounting perspective. Better you can note it on this point, everyone. You can note it on this point. Are you able to see my screen, everyone? Yes, sir. Yeah, please, please note it on this point. Just that point is enough for okay. Later we will discuss. Done, noted. Done, sir. Done. Can anyone read this point better? Read with loud voice. The company code is an organizational unit used in accounting. It is used to structure the business organization from a financial accounting perspective. perspective. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> 
everyone now uh, let it be now you people try to understand what is meant by i mean how to uh, create the company code and all how to create the company code and all okay so let it be come to this path let it be come to this path double click on this execute button double click on this execute button and uh, again edit company code here you want to go double click on edit company code and click on here new entry click on here new entry set up here any four digit and write the description so example uh, pm pm steals private limited pm steals private limited okay so here you can set up any four digit for your system means identification okay here I am set up PM10. PM here you can set up it's not PM10, it's not a standard. Here you can set up up to four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. Why we need to set up that four digit means for the identification. For the identification of PM Steel's private limited. And uh, city, city located at Vishaka Patnam, called as a Vaija. Then country, IN, India. Currency, INR. Uh, note it on one note, everyone. Note it on one note. Note it on one note, everyone. Sandhya joined up. Class Sandhya joined up. Sandhya ma'am, are you there? She's not joined up. Huh? Anyway. <clears throat> Listen carefully, everyone. Listen carefully. Guys, don't focus the WhatsApp. Listen the class. Don't do anything. It is a class, everyone. It is the class. Okay? Concentrate. Very important. Uh, what you noted? Nothing noted, huh? No, sir. No, please note it down. Note it down, everyone. During the company code creation, during the company code creation, whatever currency we maintain, whatever currency we maintain, That currency is called, that currency is called local currency. That currency is called local currency of specific company code. Of specific company code. A specific company code. Okay. Can anyone read the note? Remaining people, check it out. Uh, Swarna, can you please read more? Guys, During please. the company code creation. Slowly, slowly with loud voice, please. Huh? Okay. Sir. Please. During the company code creation, whatever currency we maintain, that currency is called local currency of specific company code. Company code. Very good. Thanks. So here we, for example, everyone. Example, for example, so this company code, example, this company code, I mean, this company code, example, uh, located in US, located in US. So what is the local currency, everyone? USD. USD. USD is the local currency. For example, this company code located in China. Example here, countries, example, countries located in China. I click on your browse, country, I am selecting China. 
China, China, where is China? Use page down button in the keyboard, China. So what is the currency I want to take here? Local currency, Bolito? Specific China currency I want to take. China currency I want to take. Yuan, Yawan, something is there actually. Yuan, I think. Uh, Yuan, something. China currency. Mm, China currency. China, China, where is the China? CNY. I got CNY. Nearby, yeah? Uh, yeah, 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 yes. You want this one. This one you want to. It's it's called specific local, specific local currency of specific company code. For example, my my company my company code located in India, located in India. Here you need to take Ayana. Then language is called English. Guys, let it be. Let's see here, everyone. Let's see. Guys, concentrate here. Concentrate here. If I after entering these details, example set up here any four digit and write the description, then uh, uh, city, country, currency, which everyone concentrate here, everyone. If you press enter button in the keyboard, enter one pop up will come actually. See, if you press enter, save here, one pop up will come. So, here. Here you want to enter complete address, complete address of the specific company code. For example, title, title means this is the company. So what is the name? What is the name? PM Steel Private Limited. So what is the search term? Set up here any four digits. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets. PM10. Then where it is located? It is located street. Example, Sriram Street. Street. House number uh, 125675. House number. Then post box number. Example, 5300 or 500. Four five six. Which city it's located at Vijayak? And country India IN. And region region if you click on your browse region it's a Andhra Pradesh actually Andhra Pradesh. And post box number this one. Here you need to maintain these things. And here even you can maintain for this specific company what is the telephonic number? For this specific PM steels, pro, pro, I mean PM steels private limited, you need to maintain all the details. Like what is the telephonic number? What is the mobile number? What is the fax number? What is the email ID of the specific company? Okay, so you can maintain all the details. Everyone, concentrate here, everyone. You can maintain all the details. Then after that, what we need to do after entering these details. Click on your OK here, 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 here. Click on your OK. Then again, now your pop up will come. TR, TR. Is this your TR? Yes, no? Yeah, please respond. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Click on your OK. This will go into save. Guys, one more, one more, everyone. I will repeat one more company I can create. Listen, listen carefully, everyone. Now my target is how to create the company code. Listen, listen carefully, my dear students. One more, one more I will create. Listen carefully. So come to this path, come to this path. Enterprise structure, definition, financial accounting new. Then here, uh, Double click on this execute button and uh, edit company code. And uh, in case everyone, in case if you want to see, if you want to see existing company code, already created company code. So you can check here, use page down button and you can check. Otherwise, click on your position. What we created, what is our four digit? Anyone? PM? 
entries new entries so set up here any four digit uh, pm 20 and pm cement uh, cement uh, private limited private limited and city it's tirupati and uh, country india country india and uh, currency inr english if you click on your save button one pop up will come so here you can enter the address example it is an a company and here you need to maintain pm uh, cement uh, limited oh it's a limited right one second are are it's a limited right actually it's a limited so pm cement cement limited and the search term pm20 and located at the street uh, example krishna street house number 7856634 and 500543 it's vijak ah uh, tirupati right sorry tirupati uh, country india region 01 and uh, 01 means andhra pradesh and here this and this so later you can enter telephonic number mobile number fax number all email ids of this specific company and all in case if you want to enter you can maintain then uh, click on your okay then save if you click on your save again one pop up will come then save save guys actually one question you want to ask here one question you want to come here sir okay for example everyone answer it here sir okay this year this year i started in the uh, krishna nagar after uh, uh, everyone so where we started our company our company in the krishna nagar now krishna nagar later after some year may after some years okay after some years and uh, i want to uh, move i want to move krishna nagar to uh, any other nagar uh, krishna nagar to balaji nagar balaji nagar my company is move one area to another area so now my question is how to change how to edit how to edit the address how to edit phone numbers uh, we maintain one phone Uh, initially later we want to change the phone numbers initially we maintain one email id later we want to change email ids okay so now my question is how to edit edit the company code very simple everyone same path you can come and uh, double click on this execute button again click on your edit company code position pm20 whatever company code you want to edit then select and click on your post you can make as a display so except to this one except to your identification you can change everything 
except to your this identification you can change everything even if you click on this uh, address button then later you can change this uh, street also street house number everything whatever you want you can change it that is the one okay i'm not changing now in case if you want you can change everyone now uh, time to ask the questions everyone time to ask the questions yeah arvind now you can unmute and speak uh, yeah uh, means my initial question was like uh, there is company and company code both are different and uh, uh, can we call a company as a holding company of a legal entity both are legal entities only actually okay both are legal entities only example tata group of company is a company tata yeah. in, maybe you did not attended last classes yeah. in the general yeah. accounts yeah. let it be hari krishna please listen sir please please let me complete so what happened here example sap terminology is different general accounting terminology is different in the accounting terminology prospective in the general discussion we are called group company in the sap terminology we are called just company same way in the company code also in the general terminology we are called individual company but in the sap terminology we are called as a company code both are the legal entity section this is smallest that is the largest so you can i suggested some documents now you can go through the documents then in case of any doubts once again we will discuss yeah okay. any other question sir nothing okay thank you sir thank you thank you i have a question here vanna yes yes sir giridhar how are you yeah. my dear friend yeah yeah uh, see now you said we can be able to change the address so what mm -hmm. will happen to the previous address uh, will it overwrite or uh, we can be able to see the previous one also it's overwrite actually okay then all the documents because uh, see now suppose new address what... will come now onwards oh okay okay yeah good good question yeah. next one the only functional consultant will only change the address and yes. the answer is yes, yes. anyone any others yes yeah, sir my question is ki sir can we assign a different currency to company and company code because in your yeah, case example... if you want you can assign okay if if client is if you client is required like that example my company located in us my company located in india so company code currency is different company currency is different the currency discussions will come later actually okay that time i will discuss more if i tell more points you people will going to confuse okay fine thank you okay. sir understood salaji yes yeah got it go on right the next one next one everyone the next one example everyone example um the every company every company uh who have departments the first group of company later individual companies later what we will find out in your enterprise structure like we will find uh, uh, like this one uh, which one uh, business area departments departments uh, example finance department and uh, hr department and uh, marketing department and uh, hari krishna marketing department and uh, anything sales department and uh, any other uh, r and d department r and d department r and d department like etc blah 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 like so everyone in the general discussion in the general discussions general accounting prospective we are called as a department 
we are called as a department. In the SAP F5, what we call? Functional areas. Ah, very good. Appreciate. In the general accounting terminology, we are called as a departments. In the SAP terminology, we are called as a functional area. Functional area. Okay, functional area. Functional area, nothing but department. Please keep it on your mind. Functional area, nothing but department. Okay, some in the real time, they are called as a functional area. They don't call department. Uh, they will speak in the SAP terminology. Even you people, some people is the end users, but you people knows, but other people does not know. Na? Even in the last student also, want to understand my thing. That is our intention. Last students also want to understand our thing. Okay. Everyone, see, let it be. Now my question is how to create this? <laughs> how to create this? Let it be, everyone. So, same path, everyone. Same path. SPRO, enter, SAP reference IMG. And uh, select your enterprise structure, definition, and financial accounting. Here, define functional area. Define functional area. So, uh, like, uh, define functional area. Sir, I want to understand more, more. So, better you can go through this document. If you double click on this document, so here uh, you will understood area. Functional area. So, example, functional area, typically functional area, example, uh, uh, sales, production, marketing, administration, R&D, blah, 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 etc. Okay. But uh, can you please note it down this? Can you please note it down this, everyone? Better. My suggestion is everyone, uh, it is emergency, you can join the class in lab, uh, mobiles, but it is there is a no emergency, everyone must join the class, maybe in the laptop or maybe in the desktop. So why? Because you can see all the text and all in the big letters. If you join in the mobile, you are unable to write these small, small uh, descriptions, even you, you are unable to see some radio buttons in the coming classes. So my suggestion is, Everyone join the class in laptop or desktops. Avoid the mobile phones. Okay. In case it is emergency, you are, uh, I mean, you are in traveling, you are in other place, even you want to listen, then you can join the mobile emergency purpose. But in the regular, you can join laptop. Understood everyone what I'm telling? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, madam. Note it down. Wrong. Done, noted, my dear students. Done? Yes, no? Note it down fast. Yes, sir. Yeah. Everyone, concentrated everyone. Basically, here uh, in the ECC, actually, what happened? Everyone, 
uh, in the what happened, everyone concentrate here, everyone. So if you come to this this path, if you come to this path, if you double click on this execute button, if you double click on this execute button, for the functional area, we have some uh, backend program issue actually. If you double click on this execute button, it will system will throw out one error message. What is this? What system is suggest? Instead of path, instead of this path, system is suggest use this T code. Why? Because the background have problem. Background program issue have something. So you can use this T code everyone. In case if you want to create the functional area, instead of this path, instead of this path, we want to use this T code. Please note it down this. To create the functional area, note it down path, I mean note it down note, to create the functional area, to create the functional area, to create the functional area, use the transaction, Use the transaction. Use the transaction. This one, everyone. This is the T code actually. FM underscore function. FM underscore function. So only for this, okay, we have some background technical issue actually. So come to home screen, everyone, everyone. Now my target is I want to create functional area. Functional area, nothing but department as for the SAP of five. Okay, functional area, nothing but department. So how to create? What is the T code? Can you speak, everyone? What is the T code? FM underscore function. FM underscore function. Function. FM underscore function. Enter. Hare Krishna. FM underscore function. Enter. FM underscore function. Yeah. Here you need to create. <coughs> Everyone. So functional area means set up here uh, up to 10 to 15 letters, it will allow everyone. Example here, set up here, a, any up to uh, 10 to 15 letters also it will allow, but I am set up up to four digit for your understanding. Example, I am set up here, example, uh, PM, uh, PM AD. I am set up four digit. It may be numerical or it may be alphabets for your understanding. Sure. Okay, I set up here. It's a gray mode now. How to enter? After entering this four digit, click on your create. Create functional area. Now functional area text. PM AD. So PM admin department. Admin department. And this admin department valid from and valid to. Sir, why department valid from and to? Why? Why? Because everyone in every company, if you take any uh, big companies, some contractor, uh, contract departments also will going to join. Contract departments. They will work only specific uh, period, like this date to this date. That's it like contract uh, departments. So that time you can take from which date to which date. Even now also you need to take example. For, for example, admin department will stay long time. Okay. For example, here example uh, 01, 04, 20, 23 to, and you can, you can take uh, 30, 03, I'm taking 9999. Long year. For example, in case if any contract department will start, any contract department will start, they will work only five months. So here, set up here any four digit and write the contract department name and from date and to date. 
how many months they will work, what is the last date and all. Okay, press enter, then save. Save. Then again, example, uh, PM, PM FD. Click on here, create PM Finance Department. And from date and to date. From date and to date. Press enter and save. And uh, PM RD. PM RD Department. And from date and to date. Press enter and save. And uh, PM SD. PM Sales and Department. Sales Department. And from date and to date. Press enter. I'm, you can take long date in case it is a standard uh, department. In case any contract department, you need to take specific day here. Save. And the last one, example I'm creating, PM, MD, create PM marketing department. From date and press enter and save. Got it everyone, what I'm doing, got it? How you can create functional area? Yes, no, okay. Any, any doubts? Any doubts? Sir, doubt? I have one small doubt. Uh, how to create the functional area? If you have no, doubt, sir. you can ask. No, sir. While creating functional area, why it is not asking tier? Uh, actually, why it is not asking means basically this departmental at uh, company level. It's a global level action. Okay. For example, everyone concentrate here. If you create department so this department you can uh, use for example for example this department you can use for all company codes even this functional uh, this department you can use for all company codes so this is the actually client level client level actually so tr won't generate it good question <clears throat> Functional area at client level, it won't won't uh, generate it. Yeah, yeah. Next, no, no. So, uh, uh, well, yeah, one more. Uh, means uh, anything we create at the client level, there won't be any TR required. Not like that. Not like that. Maybe whatever activity you do in the SPRO screen. Maybe you are not in last class. Whatever activity we do in the SPRO screen, TR will be going to generate it. Whatever activity you do in the SAP easy access screen, like accounting entry posting, okay. master data creation, okay. that time TR will not generate. Okay, for whatever is the end user activities kind of things, uh, TR will not generate. Not Only generate. Creations. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, thanks everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow. Any doubts? Doubts? Clarity? Sir, I have Clarity. small doubt. So, uh -huh. in, at the time of creation of functional area, it is not asking the company code. So, is there any configuration? No, it will not asking any company code. So basically, this functional area will going to assign in the GL also. It will come later. Not required now. Okay. okay. Just you. how to create the functional area. You can understand now. How to this will go into where we need to map, how it will help during the accounting entry posting. That will come. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. Thank any other other doubts? Huh. Thanks, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye. In case of any doubts, you can ask me tomorrow also. Okay.